we had we had our good moments and we had our bad moments, but I was I was happy. He was he was a good boy. Fresh, frisky, typical four year old, I would say. I really, I really tried to focus on him today. So it was a lot of um, focusing my attention there. Not a lot of talking to camera, but at least I had my mom there and Angie, one of Lori's friends, um, and a lot of people videoed. And so I can kind of splice together those videos in this video and um, make kind of a little bit of uh, walking up to the ring, a little bit of the warm up maybe, um, and then show some of the test. And uh, he was really good. I was really actually surprised by that kind of explosive moment because he's really usually very easy in the temperament. And it just goes to show you, like showing young horses and four-year-olds, sometimes you have those things. And at the same time, like Finch is such an honest, good horse. He wants to be a good boy. And that's just part of, I think, a maturing horse. They have those moments and it's no big deal. It's just a part of uh, being a kid in a way that it's, it's not that you want those to happen, but it's part of being a kid and growing up and going to shows. And overall, I was really, really proud of him. So maybe tomorrow um, we can improve on it, get it better, get it cleaned up. Finchy, get get it together, <laughs> and we'll try again. We'll do we'll do it again. Let's do it. Let's get it. All the red skin off so when he goes in the ring yeah they don't think he's bleeding from the mouth you gotta you gotta buy green apples <laughs> they're red apples green apples are better I'll kind of give you guys my play by play. Here's my halt. A little bit disorganized. Um, let's see, it was kind of interesting riding down center line because I was like, I haven't shown in a few months now, and I was like nervous, but also kind of scattered. Like I wasn't, um, I wasn't, I didn't feel on top of it. So maybe I can get that better uh, tomorrow. 
Um, but yeah, trying to keep the frame out, uh, find the right tempo. I actually forget to change my posting diagonal, which is kind of embarrassing, <laughs> uh, until a little bit late right there. And um, I have these kind of teardrop shapes that I call, um, so I have a half 10 meter circle and then you return back to the track. But yeah, trying to kind of show off Finch's gait there, get him up and out and moving nicely through the body. It's been kind of tricky trying to find the ideal tempo to ride it, that I get him going forward enough and that I can really show the gates how I want them to be. Um, let's see, now I have my big serpentine. Try to show correct bend through the body to the left and then changing directions, correct bend through the right right leg on always thinking inside leg to outside rein bending from the legs too come around then i walk at c which at the trot walk transition is a little bit of a tricky transition on the horse so i try to practice that a few times get that really good and the walk for finch I think is probably his highlight, one of his best gates. He has a really, really good walk. So I try to get as many points as I can there. And I almost think in the warm up I was rushing a little bit too much. And then I kind of backed him off a little bit in the test. And then for the test, he was a little bit too slow. Uh, so I'm going to try to get him a little bit more tempo tomorrow. Um, and then I pick up the trot here in the corner, and then that's where we had kind of our, our blow up. He was a little bit behind me there, and he wasn't trotting. Then I tried to pick up the canner, and then he spooked at something, but also kind of just the reaction uh, going into the canner. Um, but it kind of surprised me, and I went with him, and then picked up the canner, and I do my 15 meter circle in canner. And then it was interesting, like once he came back to me, he was like right back to normal. Uh, normal pinch, good feeling in the canner there. I'm really, I'm happy with that quality of the canner through the short side and down across the diagonal. He has a, he has a good canner and can give you really good, a good feeling in some moments of that. Again, sometimes I lose the, um, the connection within the transitions there. Let's see, cantering, I'm, the test kind of mirrors itself on this other side, so I do a half, or a full 15 meter circle on this side. And, yep, yeah, then down through the short side across the, the diagonal. It's good there, good canter. He's a fun horse to ride. He gives you a really fun feeling there. Back to trot. Again, I lose the connection a little bit there as I ride that downward transition. It's a tricky transition with him. Go across the diagonal, uh, medium. Go with him, lengthen the frame, lengthen the stride. That needs to be a little steadier in the contact, but I was happy with it. And then my stretch, he didn't stretch very well today, which also hurts me in the submission score. Uh, so I need to work on getting him a little bit in the warm up tomorrow, work on the stretch, get him to where I can get that stretch coming a little bit sooner, a little bit better. Then I pick him back up, go down, little half 10 meter circle onto the center line, and then my halt. And that's it. He was a good boy. It's kind of, I need to learn how to ride him better. And he's also just a four year old, so he needs to mature and get more solid with everything. But I was really happy with with everything and to get to, get to ride him like that, so. Good boy, Finchie.
trot, it's a clear rhythm and shows energy, but inconsistent balance, which caused a lot of forging throughout most of the trot. 7.3, and then <laughs> you had quite an expressive canter depart, <laughs> but you recovered well. Um, the canter, again, similar to the trot, it shows a lot of um, will to go forward, but the balance um, is, is inconsistent. And we felt that in trot, he showed good lateral ability to bend, but then in canter, not so much. And I think that's because the energy overtakes the balance of the canter. So we're at 7.4 today. And then, unfortunately, because of the, the lack of balance and connection through pretty much all transitions, and then the unfortunate mishap of the canter to part, um, we had to really come down in submission to 6.5. And then our general impression is 7.1. Thank you.